School district in the Poconos has a call out for bus drivers. They're just a little more than a week away from kicking off the first day of school. And 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas joins us now live in East Stroudsburg with more about how they're handling that shortage of drivers. Sydney? Good evening, Candace. Yes, the sign behind me shows that the East Stroudsburg Area School District is making it loud and clear that they're looking to hire more school bus drivers. Officials with the district district say despite their efforts of trying to fill those positions, they still have two dozen spots open. Empty seats fill the bus lot at East Stroudsburg Area School District, but beginning August 29th, the buses will be filled with students and with nearly 100 bus routes. The district says they're short bus drivers by two dozen. The director of communications tells Eyewitness News the district consolidated bus runs Thursday night. The result, some drivers may need to make more than one trip to the schools. Due to the shortage and some of the doubling up that's going to occur and the need for substitutes on a day to day basis, that some of our runs are going to be late. For the first time ever, the school district is extending its students' morning homeroom by about five minutes in case of late buses. It also allows our food services department to make breakfast available to all of those students when they arrive also, so that despite the circumstances, we can give everyone as normal of a start as possible. He says they saw the shortage last year, and despite offering free CDL classes and competitive pay, they're not seeing the turnout they hoped. Barbara Eccleston was a full-time bus driver for the school for four years. This year, she's working as a substitute driver. I like the hours. I like that you come home in the middle of the day so you can, you know, do things at home or take a nap if you're tired and then um, go back to work all fresh. <laughs> Her grandchildren are in the district and she hopes more people sign up to avoid delays. It's a rewarding job and it's challenging, but um, the pay is good and the benefits are great. Pay for full-time drivers starts at $17 with benefits and retirement. Meanwhile, substitute drivers start at $25 an hour. The district's free CDL training course is taking place on Monday. Candace. Sydney, thank you.